What's up, YouTube? So the Miami Dolphins have just re-signed running back Savon Ahmed to a one-year deal. Um, I don't know what the contract is worth yet, but I imagine it's probably not much. Uh, I know we made a bunch of cap space by restructuring contracts that allowed us to do this and get us under cap space before Wednesday. Um, I don't hate the move. Savon Ahmed really hasn't played for us very much, so I, I imagine it's, he especially didn't play much last year. So I imagine his contract isn't very much. But if we didn't re-sign anybody, we would have been going into free agency without a single running back on the roster, which isn't ideal, obviously. Um, and with a one-year deal, most likely not worth very much. Even if he doesn't make the team, so what? We can cut him in training camp or in preseason or whatever if the other running backs we end up with you know, beat him out or whatever. Um, I, I don't really see that as being too big of a deal. But at the very least, we have a decent backup for us. Um, obviously, we're going to have to continue to address the running back position whether that means trying to bring back uh, either Jeff Wilson or Ray Mostert, possibly both. Whether that means getting a top-tier running back, which I'm not really trying to do. I am not. I don't really want to spend a ton of money on a running back. I don't think that's necessary. Um, and I definitely don't want to trade for one. Uh, I personally would like to... I don't really want Savon Ahmed to be a starter or even a part of the... Like if we do running back by committee, I don't even really want him to be a key part of that. I would like to either keep Mostert or Wilson, um, possibly both, and then draft a guy, and then you could just have Savon Ahmed be our fourth guy. I think that's fine, um, personally. Um, I I don't think – I mean, if, if you think of the two Super Bowl teams, neither one of them had, like, a marquee running back. Like, when was the last Super Bowl winner that had, like, a premier running back? It, it doesn't happen often. Like, even Tampa – Leonard Fournette like took over the playoffs, but he wasn't even the main running back that year. Uh, Ronald Jones was the main running back all of the regular season, and you know Leonard Fournette had kind of fresh legs because of that, and he kind of took off. Uh, so I I, I kind of like the whole running back by committee thing. So I, I think even if we don't do Jeff Wilson, Raheem Mostert, even if we just sign two decent running backs to pair with Savon Ahmed and somebody that we draft. I think that's fine. This draft, I'm not even done with it, and it is filled with running backs that can go. Uh, I don't think you necessarily need to pay a running back a bunch of money or even draft one early. Uh, I think you can get a running back later and still really hit on him. Um, so that's my thought. Uh, I do like the move. Like I said, at least we're going into tra into uh, free agency with at least a running back on the roster. That kind of helps my mentality. And he's not too terrible if he does have to play a little bit for us. Obviously, don't want him as a starter or even a key rotational piece. He's pretty much just a backup in my eyes. But at least it's something. So, And it is a one-year deal, and I'm expecting it to not be worth very much. Uh, and like I said, even if we do get more running backs that end up beating him out, cool. Good for us. That's a good problem to have. So, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. Have any questions or comments in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.